Hello and welcome to my absolute best way to make commas while fighting mobs here in Incarnum video. This is the first of a series that I plan on doing where I'm going to show you where to spend your time fighting to get the most bang for your buck. Obviously leveling is important. We like to level as quickly as possible. But at the same time, we need gear, we need resources, we need bread, potions. Uh, we might just want to look cool and get some cosmetic stuff. But you got to have commas to do all that. So when you're first starting out, it can be real challenging to figure out, how do I make commas? If you go and you do fights on here, you'll find out real quick, you don't make jack squat from a fight. And if you ask somebody, how do I make commas? A lot of times they'll say, do a profession. And yes, professions are a great way to make some commas. But sometimes you just want to get out there, hit the ground running, do some fighting, and make money along the way. That's what this is supposed to be for. So here with Sniffing for Cash, I'm going to guide you through what you should do with your time and effort here in Incarnum to make the most money that you can. Incarnum is the starting area. That's right here. It's broke up into several different sections. Scroll up here to Incarnum. You'll see the mobs that are underneath each one of these sections. You got the cemetery, the fields, forests, the lake where you get the glutes, mines, pastures with all the gobbles, and the way of souls. So here's what I did. I decided, you know, each one of these things have a resource. And each one of these things typically have a resource that is unique to them, such as these petals, translucent petals. You will only find these fighting the things here in the fields. Over here in the, the cemetery, you'll only find this in Carnum Relic fighting these skeletons. So what I did is I looked at each resource that was unique to creatures that are just here in Incarnum. So I made a list of each of these items. There were 11 resources unique just to the Incarnum creatures up here. So then what I did is I went over to the resource market and I took the average price for one, groups of 10 and groups of 100, and I averaged them together for each of those unique items. The goal here was to figure out what resource was the most valuable and which area was the best place to fight to make the most money possible. And I've got an answer for you. There is a group that's the best to fight if all you want is commas. And there's another group that's better if you want commas and XP. So the first group you want to fight is going to be in the fields area. Very low level mobs. This is the area where you will make your most commas during your fights. But it's not just from fighting anything. In fact, it's because of the small tofu, the chimeric feather. This thing has an average price of about 800 commas. I've actually checked the markets on multiple days and I have found the average price is about 800 commas. Sometimes it's a little higher, sometimes it's a little lower. The other thing that you drop in this area that's unique are these translucent petals. Now these aren't worth very much at all. These are only about 100 commas each. So anytime you fight something up here in Incarnum, and I believe I'm playing a video right now showing you where I did 10 minutes of fighting just up here in the fields. And my goal was to run around and just find groups that have the small tofu. Didn't matter if it was just a small tofu or if it was flowers and tofus or if it was a mob of tofus. The goal was to only fight tofus to see how many of these I could drop in 10 minutes, how many fights I could get in 10 minutes. The nice thing about this area is it's a very low level area. So you could come right out of the tutorial, come up here, start fighting those things. Now in 10 minutes, I did it with both a craw and I also did it with a foggernaut. Now it should be noted both of those classes are pretty good at range, but in 10 minutes with both classes, I was able to do 19 fights. The first time I got 14 feathers. The second time I got 12. The first time I got six petals. The second time I got 14 petals. If you add those up in 10 minutes, both times I got just over 11,000 commas. 11,000 commas in 10 minutes. Now, obviously that's not, that's not cash in my bag right here. In fact, it should be noted when I did those 10 minutes of fighting, I made 33 commas out of 19 fights. Your, your comma drops can range anywhere from zero 
up to 11, I think, was the highest I ever got on one. But I, I actually had fights where I got zero. Most of them I got, I don't know, five or less. But I got 11,000 commas worth of resources. The next area that's best to fight is going to be right over here. This area called the forest. This is the place you want to be if you want both commas and XP. This area is a little more challenging, especially the big guys here. These are the ones you got to be a little bit careful of. And I played with two range-based classes, so I was able to keep my distance. But they do hit a decent amount. So even if you want to come here, you might be better off fighting the, the fields area, at least till you get to maybe about a level 10. And then you can come over here. And then what I did, I did 10 minutes of this as well. I'll put some video me fighting these guys. So I did 10 minutes fighting over here in the forest areas also. I'll put some video up so you can watch that while I continue to talk. What I tried to do during that time was fight only groups of two or three. See, the nice thing for these guys, the resource that you're looking for are the Spirit Tabby Tails and the Eternal Ash. Both of these have an average sale price of 250 commas. The nice thing is all the enemies over here drop those. So you're not looking for just a tofu. You can fight any groups of two, any groups of three, and you're going to be dropping the resource that you need. So in those 10 minutes of fighting that I did against these, on both times, I was able to get 12 fights in. On my first run, I was able to get 18 tails and 21 ashes. And on my second run, I was able to get 23 tails and 19 ashes. That came out to an average of right around 10,000 commas on both runs. But the nice thing about this is you're getting better XP. So you're getting a little bit less commas, but you're getting better XP. So this is a good area to come to if you're trying to, yeah, make some money, but you're also way over capped for those flowers and you still want to be leveling so that you can move on into Astrid. All right, and I got a bonus tip. If you want to make some extra money underneath your carver, there's this thing called a hunting bow. If you take three magical cures, which are dropped from the flowers, remember those are what you're going to be fighting in the beginning anyways, and three ash wood and make this hunting bow and equip this when you go do your fighting, you're also going to be dropping intangible meat. Intangible meat is the very first meat that's needed for leveling the hunter class. If you didn't notice already, you can drop these meats from anything you fight up here in Incarnum, and they sell for an average of 150 to 250 commas a piece, and you drop them from everything. So that means that would be strictly extra money on top of the 10 or 11,000 commas you're making already. You could be making anywhere from 12 to 15,000 commas every 10 to 12 minutes, depending on which class you are. Obviously, once you reach a certain point, you're not going to be making jack squat for XP up here, but if what you need is commas and you're still running in the Incarnum area, that's where you're going to make your money. You want to Thanks for watching my video on how to make commas while fighting mobs up here in Incarnum. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to continue to see more content like this, more comma making content, uh, that's my plan. So you'll want to subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of that content. Hit that notification button. If you turn that on, I guess you get a notification each time I load one up. If you could do me a favor and hit that like button, that helps me get discovered on YouTube so people can continue to find my videos, find my content. My plan is to go down to Astrib after this and do this very same thing. Do the research, find out what's the hot stuff, what's selling, so that you know exactly where to go fight, what to go level against, so that you're getting both levels and commas. Again, thanks for coming by and I'll see you on the next one.